it was never planned. It was it wasn't like okay, let's do pickups and take off. It was just we wanted to do it. I love soccer. I love what it brings. I love the like the experiences, the memories, the conversations, all everything that was about it was something that I enjoyed. I had fun. I would look forward to it every day after work, and it was just like it was my therapy. Mm -hmm. Essentially what it started was that like I played college soccer locally and within like all my friends we would always everybody came back home for the break and everything and we started trying to play pickup but everywhere we played you know it was we had good players and then we'd do something good and the next play someone's trying to take out our knees or like fight us and after months of that I was like there's no way we could just keep doing this I don't want to risk losing a scholarship I don't want to put anybody else in danger I want to play soccer with my friends so then it just started as we hey bro pull up it's the only field we know that's open that got late night lights on and then after a while it started growing and then it started being, hey, I got a homie who wants to play. And then after a while, my brother started pulling up and seeing and then I was like, what if I record it? Like, like people, we have good players, people have resumes, let's record it. People want to see each other play. So then after a while that started growing and before we knew it, we were getting 45, 50 people on a field that we weren't even renting, that we were, we were just showing up and then we were getting kicked off. And then ever since then, it's just taken off. When we first started, there was really no vision. It was more like, how can we help, you know, our youngest brother, you know, get his, his, his group of friends together without them being kicked out because they don't have the field reserved. We just needed to find somewhere that can hold all of us. And from there, it just started becoming a reality. And then eventually we needed a, a net, another space so we can have the, the, this many people that we had out coming out. So we ended up at Moose Athletics. My oldest brother reached out, got a quote, and then we met with the lady and she was very, she played college soccer. So she was very eager and all they had was a cross. And what we saw was an untouched, this wasn't touched by a soccer ball. The field was not yet touched by a soccer ball. So to us, it's like, we kind of smiled at the fact that like, this is untouched. Nobody knows about this. Yeah, we can go somewhere else and everything, but like this, this doesn't have a name yet. This doesn't have anything tied to it. No big club, nothing. This is fresh and nobody knows about it. The first couple sessions, it was out of pocket. So it was a little difficult, especially we just have normal jobs, you know, we have rent and all that we have to take care of. But it was worth it. It was worth giving it a shot because it was just for the players, you know. It was something that we, we could offer and give it a try. We were willing to take the risk and thank God it turned out how it did. The way we do it is we do seven minute games. We have four fields that we use. In those four fields, we have a king field, meaning that's the main field, that's the field everybody wants to stay on. So in order for you to stay on that field, you have to win. Any ties, losses, you hop off and you wait one game. After that, you restart on the last field and you gotta win each field in order to wait to make, it, make your way back here. So we do seven minute games, no corners. Everything is kick-ins only. Any uh, handballs, force outs, or fouls on one end, keepers on the other end restart the ball. So no slide tackling either. We don't want anybody getting hurt. So please stay on your feet. Any balls that go over, try to chase them. If not, let one of us know so like that we know, you know, where that ball is. Other than that, you know, clean tackles. Y'all, a lot of y'all know how we how we roll already. So y'all gonna be over here. We're gonna give y'all ball to warm up. And again, if y'all got any valuables or anything, make sure y'all keep it, keep it in your bag, keep it in your car. I don't want someone. To... So me and my brothers are born and raised in the Bronx. Oh, soccer was just always part of our life from our dad to our grandpa to everyone now, even our youngins. And it's just always been something that it's just been an escape to just grab a ball and just go, whether it's problems at school, home, personal issues. It was just always a way of just of letting go and, you know, working on the craft and seeing the, your you getting better, it was just everything we just, I owe the sport so much. We have a model that we go by, it's, it's, it's good ball, better vibes. So the quality of the, of the, of the games are, are very high and they're very good, but at the end of the day, what keeps people coming back and you know, 
what makes everything better is the vibe that we that we set up that we have you know it's just you see it when people come in they interact the way they dap each other up the way they you know communicate with each other and i think that's like the most important thing is that we were able to transition what we grew up on to being adults now to kind of just you know let's give this let's give what we grew up on let's give it back to them and and see how far we can pretty much take this pickup what do you hope to see happen from all these long-term goals uh, that people feel like we played a big part in their in their in their like part in their growth that we feel like people can come in and not just feel like you're just playing soccer where people feel like where you you can you can reside in someone to be like you can confine to someone and be like, hey, I don't feel okay. Where it, you break different barriers besides just being a soccer player, besides just playing soccer. You feel that need, that like, that feeling of like you're a part of something bigger. You're, you're doing something for the community, that you're laying down the blueprint for other people. And then you know it's just like rewarding in a sense of like we want to create that system naturally. Where it's like uh, if someone comes as good, they bring a little brother and we work him. We help him. We talk to him and we just want to have a system where it's like it's just self-rewarding, it's a workshop, it's a place of growth. It's not just soccer.